Puerto Rico and I was attending high school there in the University High School when I found out that the Navy offered scholarships to study in the United States. And so I applied to one of these scholarships and I was able to receive one. That year I was the only Puerto Rican to get a scholarship to study in the U.S. with the U.S. Navy. So at the ripe age of 17, I came to uh, the United States, to Chicago, to go to school. And at the end of the uh, four years of university, I received my degree and a commission in the Navy. My family uh, was uh, very instrumental in, in my early years because both my parents were teachers. So I grew up around books. And so uh, going from uh, high school in Puerto Rico to university in Chicago was really not a big step for me. It wasn't very familiar ground. But that's how it all began. It was an accident. I didn't plan on becoming a naval officer. It was an opportunity to get a free education, and I took it. Uh, the Navy at that time required that we pay back for the four years of education with four years of service. And that was fine with me because I was going to be four years older anyway. And so the four years of service uh, that I had to do to pay back for the education turned out to be so wonderful for me that I decided to make the Navy a career. Right out of university, I requested flight training because it interested me. When I was little, I used to build uh, paper airplanes and fly them around. And uh, so I applied for flight training because it had been a lifelong ambition of mine to fly airplanes. And I went to Pensacola, got my wings, and began to fly fighter airplanes from aircraft carriers. I liked that so much and the people with whom I was working so much that I decided to stay in the Navy. That my decision was made after, after three years. <laughs> When I was shot down the first time, I was surprised because I didn't expect it. I'd survived one tour without being hit. Uh, and when it happened the second time, I was really almost upset about it because it, uh, I felt like they were picking on me, you know. But I didn't, uh, didn't, it didn't cross my mind not to continue flying because I was a professional pilot, professional naval officer. And that wasn't what I did, it was what I was. And so I couldn't stop being what I was simply because I'd had a couple of shoot downs. I uh, continued to fly um, after I recovered from some injuries and I completed the second tour without any more incidents. But it was, it was an experience that I'll never forget. In, in the Navy, when you're a pilot, you, you're continuously competing against the other people who are in the same position as you are. And the Navy has a wonderful merit-based promotion system. I was lucky enough to be recognized for what I was doing, and I was getting promoted, in fact, ahead of my contemporaries. So I commanded a squadron of airplanes on a carrier uh, as my first command. Then I was given command of the whole air wing, which are all the airplanes in the carrier. And um, later, when I became a captain, I, I was selected to command a, a fleet oiler, uh, aviators, uh, have to meet all the all the qualifications of ship captains if you're going to be given command of a ship. So I was given command of an oiler, and as we joke in the Navy, if you return the ship without scratching the paint, then they consider you for command of an aircraft carrier. And I was very honored to command the John F. Kennedy. Uh, probably the most demanding single job that I've ever had, uh, although not the one with the greatest amount of responsibility. It was physically demanding, emotionally demanding. You've got uh, 5,000 people, more or less, on board that you're responsible for. Uh, about 90 airplanes, you're responsible for all the operations, for the safety of the operations, for the safety of all the people, for the accomplishment of the mission. When you um, uh, go to uh, the Mediterranean or any other place in the world, you're representing the United States. It's an enormous piece of the treasury of the United States floating around, and you're in charge of it. Uh, an enormous amount of responsibility, and for that reason, an enormous amount of fun. So I enjoyed that very much. It's impossible to describe the thrill that you have when you get underway with an aircraft carrier 
and you turn around and there's no one to turn to because you're the captain. Thank you.